Brought to you guys by iSkySoft, and we're taking a look at their PDF Element Pro. So the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is open up a file. As you can see, our OCR text recognition has completed successfully. I'm going to go ahead and hit open and watch this magic. We can now go ahead and be able to edit all of this awesome text. How insane is that? As you can see, whenever it sees text, I can now just hover over it. And afterwards, I have the eye right here, so I can go ahead and copy and paste. I'm able to maybe search particular text, so we can go ahead and search. What's a word that I see here? I see MMI. So I can go ahead and see that there are now 54 results for the word MMI, and I can go and scan through every single one of these. This can be a lifesaver when you're looking through a massive legal document or something of those sorts, which is really, really awesome. Now, now, the other thing you can do is you could add text a different way so you can go ahead and add one of these cool little boxes and afterwards I'm able to go ahead and type whatever I need to type in this particular area so as you can see I'm gonna go ahead and remove the word Audi I can remove the word smartphone and just like that I'm editing the PDF on the spot that's how smart the software is it knows the font it knows how it is I can go ahead and add an exclamation point and it will add it in that exact font how insane is that and this works for just about every single aspect I can go ahead and remove just this particular section if I want to go ahead and get rid of it maybe I want to get rid of the fact that CarPlay right here doesn't really work I can go ahead and remove it and I can go start typing other random gibberish that I need down there which is really really awesome now the other cool thing is it also scans things inside of images so if I really don't want this to say podcast right here I can go ahead and remove that and I can make it say smart tech is awesome how cool is that anyhow I'm not gonna type that but it's really cool the other thing you can do here is you can add your own images in so I'm gonna go ahead and add a particular image and uh, before we add our own image I want to show you guys something really insane this thing allows you to actually take images it recognizes the images on here and it allows you to edit them how absurd is that so as you can see I just took this image right an image that's inside of a PDF and I shrunk it I can then go ahead and let's say what's another image over here it's gonna go ahead and look for an image on this particular page and once again I can go ahead and tweak that image how insane is that I can go ahead and resize the whole thing if I really want to now I'm really messing up this PDF but it really goes to show all the potential that you have I'm gonna try it one last time on this page so as you can see here is a pretty big thing I'm gonna hit image once again and see if it recognizes any of the images on this page here's an image right here and let's say I want to go ahead and shrink this just a little bit or maybe a lot afterwards let's go ahead and select this and just like that, I'm able to go ahead and shrink that image. How insane is that? Now I can go ahead and put it anywhere. I could go and put it on another page. All in all, it's just really seamless and really easy to use. How cool is that? All right, so next thing, we can go ahead and add a link. Now this one's pretty straightforward. If you wanna go and mess around with a link or be able to click a link inside of a PDF, this allows you to go ahead and do that. I don't think there are any in this, but it goes to show what's possible. Uh, let's see what can we do with our form options. So here's some things that you can add. So I got somewhat of a blank page right here. So I can go ahead and mess around with certain text fields. So let's go ahead and add a button right here. And maybe I want to add a button over there. And here's here's an empty page. So let's meddle with this. We're going to add three of these. And then we can go and actually name those. And we can go ahead and add things like a drop down. We can add a list box. We can add just a normal button. That's a giant button. But if you want to make it a little bit smaller, you can go ahead and do so. It's really, really seamless and really easy. And you can align everything in a particular way. You can also do things like import data and duplicate this particular thing across multiple pages. And you can even hide names in general. My favorite thing here is though is the markup option because it gives you so many different variations of things you're able to do with this. So of course, you're able to go and highlight certain things just like that. And once again, this really helps when it recognizes the text. So I can highlight that. I can highlight this. I can highlight this. This, if you have notes or something of those sorts or a power PowerPoint that's uh, built into a PDF this can be a lifesaver going back though we can go and mess around in a variety of ways so if you want to cross something out make sure someone doesn't sign something once again it can go ahead and do that as well and you can mess around with that let's say you want the crossing out to be black once again that looks much simpler and there's a variety of options like a pencil um, go ahead and draw all over it if you want I know I'm making a mess but once again it shows exactly what it's capable of and if you made too much of a mess no worries you can go ahead and erase things and tweak it just as needed needed and obviously you can mess with the thickness of everything as well which is really really cool then 
There's also the ability to add sticky notes wherever you need them. So we're going to go ahead and simply type a sticky note right here. And now we have a cool little note that anyone can click on and be able to check out, which is really awesome. Last but not least, I think my favorite thing is probably the stamps. There's a variety of options that are really, really useful, especially if you're working with things like legal documents, things like received. You can go ahead and add something like a signature, and then you can add like witness right over here, and then you can go and resize this and turn it so you know it's exactly where you need to be. And you can add as many of those as you possibly need. Um, one, another thing that could be a little useful is probably the void, uh, maybe the check mark. This one's really cool. Just add a check mark wherever you need them. Let's see. I'm gonna go all the way back up here. Let's say I already read this. Add a check mark right there. Go ahead and add another one over here and the last one over here. All in all, it works. Lastly, we have the variety of tools here. So you can go and add a watermark if onto this if you need it. However, you do need your own little custom watermark and you can go and edit that particular watermark should you want to do so. Uh, there's also the ability to add and edit your background. You can also add a header and a footer and of course the OCR text recognition and the ability to do batch processes. One thing I didn't mention over here is the ability to mess with signatures. So of course, I'm gonna go and show you guys what that looks like. You can choose your color and then you can go ahead and add a very interesting signature right here and you can make choose to make it thinner, maybe darker, you can change its color you can make it a little bit lighter and afterwards you can go ahead and hit done and it will insert that signature and here's the best part let's say your handwriting isn't that great when you're working on a touchpad no worries you can go ahead and resize that to make it look just a little bit more professional and place it maybe over here or something of those sorts and you can place as many of those as possible so you don't need to tediously recreate the same exact signature on your annoying touchpad all in all it's just really really awesome there are a few other pages uh pages of options here on the right so you can go ahead and take a look at all your different pages all in one go the platform the overall software is super super simple to use you can check out your bookmarks your comments and you can actually mess with the actual size the width the height and of course have everything fit to page and zoom in or out depending on what you are feeling it's very powerful it gets the job done and it is the ultimate way to go and make sure that pdfs don't drive you absolutely insane and they're actually super super simple to work with ocr 